All right, Shalom Rastafari. This is Ross Iadonis. I want to respond to um, the responses to uh, modern uh, feminism, our uh, modern feminism um, vid. And this was the part one right here. Caught a couple of the responses right here. Rastafari on modern feminism. Co in Telpro versus Rise of the Black Messiah and his family. This is the part one right here. And this is just the responses from like about 13 or so, <clears throat> 13 or so hours ago. All right. Now, some of the responses were interesting, so interesting that we thought they deserve to have a, some of the comments, um, some comments to them. So we're going to go over some of them briefly right here. All right. So we're going to start with um, this sister down here. Um, where is it? Uh, Septube A26. Septube 26. Now, I think she said, um, let's see which one will be the first one. Um, we'll take this one right here, right? Where she says, she comments and she says, um, why don't you make a video talking about misogyny and rap, R&B, the world in general? I see that your videos are geared strictly for the black man. And when you finally do a video almost talking about women, you call it modern feminism and associate it to some COINTELPRO. <coughs> I mean, that's almost hilarious right there. Well, let me just read through these, and then I'll, I'll, get, to, uh, I'll get to my commentary on it. So she says that, First of all, she says, um, you know, why don't I do a video on um, misogyny and rap, R&B, and the world in general? Well, first of all, rap and R&B, you know, that bullshit music, really, I don't really listen to. I don't choose to listen to, especially the modern version of it. The only time I get to really know really what's going on in the rap world, the so-called black nigga rap stars, is, you know, in some of the music industry videos that are out there that's exposing what's going on, you know. So if you're listening to that, you really need to choose a better form of um, music if you want to get empowerment from what you're listening to, if you want to get reinforcement. I and I, we listen to Roots and Reggae, Roots Reggae and, you know, world music or Afro, you know, the Afro beats and so forth and so on and Ethiopian music and, and f some forms of folk music, traditional folk music um, and, and chants of the Gadasi and the liturgy. I mean, just higher forms and just make I and I own chants and I and I own music as well. Or just some of the classics, the jazz even, so forth and so on. But she says that she sees that in, in I and I videos, in the Lion Jude and Ethiopian World Net videos, in the videos that I, Rasi Adinos, Wendem Yadin, put forward that they geared strictly for the black man. And when you finally do a video almost talking about women, you call it modern feminism and associate it to some COINTELPRO. The white woman is a feminist. The black woman doesn't have the power to be a feminist. If this is what you're going to imply in this video, just like black people can't be racist. Black people have to have, um, have to, ha black people have to power to enforce or have to have power, I guess is what you're saying, to enforce racism. Wow, sis. You know, um, SEP 226, how... You know, like just, just, just how disempowering. I'm remembering this song from kind of years ago, um, which speaks about, um, you know, like it says, how, how dry I am. You know, this is a song, how dry I am. I think maybe it's a cartoon from a cartoon when I was growing up. I mean, just, just so disempowering. What you're saying is just so very, very disempowering. Now, what you see right here is Gloria um, Steinem. Blah, blah, blah. And um, this black woman, Hughes, Hughes right here. This is, this is a classic. This particular picture right here is very, very classic. It's also interesting if you study art, you know, if you study art and, and you really have to study, you know, a lot of these pictures are, you know, a lot of pictures are taken, but a few pictures are actually put out. Uh, first of all, 
let's get back to your comment for a moment. We're, we're going to touch on this a little bit more, but but I didn't have this in the other version, um, in the in the lecture vid. You know, I didn't have the opportunity to show some of the 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 word the, the word pictures because it's a picture is like a thousand words, and you know, a picture can really tell a word. Well, you say that. Let's go back to your comment for a moment. You say, let's bring this bring this up right here. Okay, what you say right over here, you say that, um, let's put this here. You say, first of all, okay, I think we addressed that first part. Now, misogyny, we, we do deal with um, misogyny, if you're saying the hatred of the genos. You understand? The genos, you know, the hatred of the genos or, or female femininity. We, we we do deal with that in the vids. Perhaps you're not paying attention, you know, or perhaps you're turning off, you know, because you're looking for certain specific things to reinforce your particular um, view or world view. Like you say, why don't we do anything on misogyny and rap, R&B, the world in general? We we are dealing with the so-called world in general, this world and the world to come, and even past worlds, if you understand what world actually means separate from globe and earth. Those are different terminologies and there's different scope to those particular words. Now you say that the videos, you see that um, our videos are geared strictly for the black man. Well, if that is, you know, if it's guilty, you know, mea culpa, mea culpa. Yes, our videos are geared particularly for the black male and in our response, we say this down here. Let's first give you our response right here. You say, uh, you say that, and we say this. In our particular response right here, let's bring this over. We says that we will, um, you know, take up the idea that you suggested because it needs to be addressed. And here we are taking up this particular idea because, as we already stated, perhaps you can't see this large enough, so. Um, let's bring this a little more large, you know, and put this a little more center right here. Okay, we'll take up the idea. Here we're taking up the idea because, um, seriously, you have a point. However, please do not think that it is, an, is to excuse the black male because we're gearing certain videos specifically. We're gearing it to, you know, like in the judgment, you're going to point out, well, who is most at fault in this particular scenario or in this particular situation. And this is one of the reasons why the videos do point to the black male, I and I brothers, you know, um, I and I, you know, the brothers and sons, because we have a particular responsibility. So the black male who is an Adam or to say, a failure to prevent this fall that we have suffered. We as a race, as a seed, race equals seed, especially the black woman. Do you know see? Don't you see the vids where I note the positive of the true uh, black mother of the God seed? You know, so when you say we don't deal with, you know, woman or black woman, and it's interesting if we just examine the way you wrote this too for a moment. You notice that here, white woman, let's get to this right here, here, white woman, white, you know, white is in caps and black is lowercase. It's just kind of very, very interesting there. Why do you have, this is, a lot of this is unconscious and perhaps you're not recognizing that because a lot of this programming, how to make a slave, a lot of it's, it, it's subconscious. You know what I mean? And then you say down here, the next point you say, you say that um, the black woman doesn't have the power to be a feminist. Well, um, what do you think this is right here? Do you even know this picture, what's behind this picture, or the history connected with this picture? You understand? You say that the, the black woman doesn't have the power. What are you saying? It sounds like you're... Maybe this is what you've been taught. Maybe this is what you've been learning, and this is the particular stage of, you know, your learning, and this is not any way to, you know, um, what we're saying is that you grow in knowledge, basically. But it's interesting that you put white here in caps. It should be lowercase if you're consistent, but you put white here in caps, and everywhere else where black is, is lowercase. It's like a second-class, not citizenship, but a second-class consciousness or mentality that you're expressing. So you see that the black woman doesn't have the power. Please understand this. You said the power to be a feminist? Well, this right here contradicts that. 
This is reality. We're showing you a picture right here from reality. We we didn't make up this picture. We, you know, we didn't in any way touch up this picture at all. You know what I mean? This picture is showing you Gloria Steinem, right? And this is this is um, Hughes. I think Barbara, I forget her first name, but this is Hughes right here. You remember this fist, the black power? This is this is Prometheus. You can call this Prometheus here. Prometheus, the stealing fire from the gods. As the black male and the black female, the black family were saying black is beautiful, um, black power, black liberation. Here comes along, we could say proverbially, biblically, like a serpent in the garden, stealing fire from the gods. You can see this woman, you know, she's, the black woman is strong here, but she is also strongly deceived. She is strongly deceived right here. You know, so when you say a black woman doesn't have the power to be a feminist, so what is this? You never addressed the main issue. You say we don't deal with this, we don't deal with that, and you're wrong on those counts right there. The count that you're right on is that, yes, many of the videos are geared or strictly geared to the black male because of the, the order. You understand? Because of the order. Who is responsible? We hear that black woman saying that they look into the black males to do this and do that. Next thing. Now, we as black males are saying we got to look at ourselves. We got to take the responsibility. We got to do better, so forth and so on. And then you're saying we're gearing it too much to the black males. Which one is it? You know? So, anyway, that being that particular point there, let's continue. Now, the point about power. Right, as we you say we imply in this video, just like black people, you understand, black people, which in a sense is artificial, legally speaking, artificial people. There's no real true name, there's no nationality, and there's no birthright implied. You see, there's no birthright implied right here. Right, um, black people can't be racist. Says who? Says who? I I, I know that particular argument. I've heard that argument even. I've even expressed that particular argument, too, when I was younger and while I was still learning and growing. You know, you hear the elders, the consciousness, consciousness people of that particular time saying, okay, black people, we can't be racist, the civil rightsers and everything else. It's the white man that's racist. We don't have the power. We don't control this, so forth and so on. Maybe you're confusing prejudiced. You understand the idea of being prejudiced you know, within its American legalistic connotation, so forth and so on. But you say, again, you reinforce this point about power. You say right here that black people have to power to enforce, have to have, in other words, power to enforce, to enforce racism. So we're not racist and we don't have no power. Therefore, we can't enforce any racism, but we're not even racist. Do you understand the argument here? There's a, there's a logic argument right here. First of all, this disempowerment, this is the mental disempowerment that says it seems that you and maybe others are also affected by it. This is because of the wrong or the bad programming, you understand, the bad programming over the past um, 40 years. And because of what we're speaking about, the COINTELPRO, issue which you seem to just dismiss um when do you dismiss it right here i think you dismiss it um or, or is it somebody no hey you, hey you say down here you say um i see that your videos are geared strictly for the black male and when you finally do a video like we don't do a video about woman you please go to the archives check it out or you know network with some of the other subscribers that have been paying attention and they might be able to show you which video, some of the sisters and the brothers show you which videos and which areas of which videos that we have dealt and we deal with the issue of, of, of male and female in particular, the female, the, the woman, the mother, so forth and so on because our response down here where we say, uh, you know, do you know see, don't you see the vids where I know the positive and the reality I, I could have said, of the true black mother of the God seed, it, it, perhaps you're turning off there. But here's, here's something the Holy Spirit showed me right here about the power, this point about power. You see this word right here, this point about power right there. You say over here that the black woman doesn't have power to be a feminist. You mean she, had, she doesn't have the ability? She's, she's handicapped? She cannot be about her feminine. I mean, a lot of black women probably would disagree with you 
on that. You know, there's a lot of black women out there that, that would disagree with you on the whole issue. Like, what power does a black woman have? You understand? You know, what power does, when you say we, woman, the black woman doesn't have power to be a feminist, and then you say that black people can't be, can't, that word cannot, there's some disability. Then you say here that the black people don't have, you know, don't have no power. You understand? Or they will have to have power. How do you define what is your definition of power? So on the point that a black, you know, a black woman, you know, um, can black women be feminist? Well, it's obvious that they can, both in a positive sense as well as in a negative sense. You see what I'm saying? Um, in a positive and a negative sense. Can black people be so-called racist? What does it mean to be racist? You see, a lot of our folks are allowing white people not only to give us their names, you know, define our so-called artificial personhood and status, but also um, tell us what words mean and somehow keep us in a handicapped state where we can't even look up in a dictionary and get to the root and words and meanings and, re and remember that in spite of the etymology of words and ideas, there's connotations. So when you're saying that we don't have a power to be, um, you know, we, we can't be racist, how do you define racist? You see, race means seed. And maybe you're correct on a certain level. We do not have the, 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 the consciousness, the ability, or it's been taken out of us to be about our own seed, be about our own race, be about, you know, to protect our seed. You know what I mean? To protect our seed. And that goes to the crux and the foundation of family. In the 60s, you know what I'm saying, before the so-called feminist, the, the white Euro feminist, um, Americana feminist agenda, um, black um, people did have power to be about their race. But you see, how we utilize our power as black people is also different. How we utilize our ability, you understand? How, our racism, our being about a race is much different than white folks. We never took a bunch of white folks in chattel slavery and denied them their name, nationality, and birthright. We never did that even when we did have what what the world considers today civilization and power in ancient times that's very very clear there are european white so-called scholars and african black asian scholars that have all presented facts and and the evidence of that so how we express our power is different but one of the points that i like to focus on right one of the points i like to focus on is this idea that you present this disempowering there's something awfully disempowering, sis, about, you know, what I've read in your response. I, I, I like the fact you, you, you was critical, you, get, you was willing to make your comments, so forth and so on. I don't want you to think that this is to say don't make your comments, don't think for yourself, so forth and so on. But make sure that you are thinking for yourself. You know what I'm saying? That means you have to put all the data in there to think on it and then decide. Many people make decisions without having all the information. And then when they get more information, they have to also change their decision or their opinion on a certain amount of subject. You know, a certain, a certain, they have to change their conclusions based on the, the, the new information. We see that all the time. Well, based on new information, now that we know such and such, before that information either wasn't available and therefore, ones had to go on what they on, on what on, on, on what they on what they knew. Now, this is this is this is interesting right here because this is ancient from ancient Egypt. And if you see right here, here's a seed. This is a seed right here. This signifies not just a seed. This is a womb right here. Seed and womb are so similar in. You know, the seed, man, the womb, in that sense, the woman, the woman carries the seed like the earth is a cipher, a circle, so forth and so on. So our ignorance, right, our ignorance, it robs us of that power and that particular ability. You see, so we see a seed, the idea of seed is evident here, and the idea of seed is evident right there. Seed equals race, race equals seed. I mean, even this right here, which we use to speak on the Nibiru, also is an idea of, 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 of seed. So we have this particular idea of seed, but 
the point about power, let's go to the scriptures for a moment. And remember we have said, if you've been paying attention to any of the other videos, we have said um, that the black people's problem, so-called black people's or challenge. For some, it's a problem because they don't want to return to source. For others, it's a challenge, you understand, because they have been ignorant or robbed of the knowledge of source, the true knowledge. So once they get that knowledge, now they have to make the decision and go through that process of transformation. When you say black people don't have the power, you say black women don't have the power, and black people don't have the power, is there a connection in your mind with the black woman not having power? in a sense, to be a feminist and black people not having power. And where does power come from? Does power come from a legislation? Does power come from a law? Does power come from traumatic um, mind control and programming, you know, trauma-based mind control, 400-plus years, how to make a slave, Willie Lynchism, beating the bitch out of a black woman, as, as Willie Lynch says, you know what I'm saying, in the Willie Lynch papers? Where does true power come from. So let's go right here to the scriptures for a moment. This is interesting right here. We wanted to reason on this, you know, um, you know, because niggas love to shine. Look at this right here. They are wax and fat. They shine. You know, they shine. Oh, that's another point. But when we go to the scriptures right here, let's bring up Psalm 65, 11. When we read that, we immediately thought about this scripture where it says that God, Jah, Ha Elohim, the true God of the black people, of the true black people, and of all people, but in particular the God of Israel, have spoken once, have spoken once, right? It says twice, notice this right here, it says twice, let's bring this a little forward, it says twice have I heard this. So the true God has spoken once, right, has spoken once, and twice I have heard this. So when you're reading the psalm, you put yourself in that position. So John speaks once. God has already spoken once. The reality is already created. It's already done. But we have to reflect on it. We have to use the power of reflection. You understand? And those five-fold keys of, of you have to first hear the word, then you have to read the word and study the word. And you have to memorize you understand the word, and then you can meditate on it. See, folks talk about that meditating on, but they haven't, they, they don't have no foundation. It's a groundless meditation because they haven't heard the word, they haven't read the word, they haven't studied the word, they haven't memorized the word. So what they're meditating on is 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 nonsense, you know. And then we think it's true because we meditate on it, but we can't really challenge it. So what we're doing is challenging what you say right now, agreeing with you on some of the points, but challenging you, vigorously challenging you and others who have, hold the same um, point of view and those who might have taught you this faulty perspective of the black people's situation. You're always saying that power, right, that power belongeth to Jah. Power belongeth to God. Black folks, Negroes have a God problem, period, they have a God, because whenever Negroes, black folks, Negroes, blacks, and coloreds, NBC, Smith, Jones, and Johnsons, or Jacksons, if you please, the JJs, whenever they get their hearts and minds right with Jah and with God, we see they prosper. And sometimes it's not even a matter of the particular religion they might choose that gets them out of the, the deep pits of, of nigger hell you know, that get them out of the nigger hell. Although some so-called religions or spiritualities can only get you so far because they are limited. But the true faith for I and I is the Beit Israel faith. And a lot of black folks don't want to recognize that because a lot of black folks in America are not Israelites. There are those who are Israelites, but not all Negroes, blacks and coloreds, Smith, Jones, and Johnsons, or Jacksons, if you please, are Beta Israel. We want to keep enforcing and affirming that particular point because some might have thought because we talk about the lost sheep in the Americas and the Caribbean that we're saying that all black folks, you understand, all black folks are, you know, um, Beta Israel, lost sheep of the house of Israel, Christ, the black Christ who's born of the black Madonna, the black mother. You see, if there's any, if, if you want a high height 
of spirituality and of, of so-called positive affirmation of our humanity as black people, then you will find it in Ethiopian Hebrew, in the Ethiopian Hebrew core. Now, if you look at modern Ethiopians, modern Ethiopians are half original people, the modern ones, post-1975, post-Armageddon 1975. You see what I'm saying? So the majority of Ethiopians are almost similar to us over here in the West. It's half and half. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Um, you, you, you can't judge a book by its cover, but you have to actually, you know, check out the contents. You understand? Or as Christ would say, you judge a, a, a tree by its fruit. So on the issue of power, let's go back to power for a moment. God has spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power, that chayil, that power belongeth to who? It belongeth to Jah. Power belongeth to God. And God, Jah, can give that power to whomsoever he, he pleases. Now, it bothers some folks when we say that, well, you know, the white man, the so-called European, is really in that position and been put into a certain position vis-a-vis -vis because we are in such a disagreeableness, a disobedience to our God, Father, and King of Kings, you understand, and, and to Christ in his kingly character, because we're in that particular disobedience, and you can refer, if you choose to, because some black folks don't want to deal with the Bible, they think they're smarter than Jah, and everything they do falls flat on his face, as well as their fallacious and false arguments. You understand, a lot of these arguments that the sister presented, we recognize these arguments, because some of these arguments we have held to at one time also, you understand, before we repented, you understand, made a change of mind and submitted ourselves to the will of God in Christ, the will of Jah Rastafari in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach. Now, notice this other translation here that, where it says, God has declared one principle, one principle, one principle. And that principle has two parts to it when it manifests, when it reaches the rate of atmosphere, male and female. One principle. It's like one principle, one seed. Two principles have I heard. Two principles can we perceive. Now, it translates this here that God is strong. This is not really accurate completely. This is a, not a, a, a translation. It's a transpolation or interpolation of the Masoretic verse here. The King James is basically a better translation. You know, saying, God hath spoken once, twice have I heard this. And what do we hear? That power belongeth to God. Power belongeth to Jah. Power is not gained by how much money you have or how much industry you have or, you know, how many people you can enslave or something like that or how many lies you can tell. Power is not based on any of those things that people might think power is based on in this dyslexic in this particular dyslexic um, world. So we want to point out that part about black woman doesn't have power, in a sense, to be a feminist. You see, we're not condemning feminism as a terminology, you understand? What we are speaking about is the modern form of feminism. This is one of the reasons why we have to, you know, bring this particular picture front and center right here so you can recognize one of the key icons of, of that particular generation, that particular apostasy, which we say has a strong connection in this metastasization to the whole co-intel, the counter-intelligence program to go against knowledge, to go against intelligence. So it's not just the program that they did back then, that they initiated back then, but it's the idea, you understand? It's the operating principles, you understand, which goes against what we should already know. Like, I've heard this a lot from my and I, sister, and, um, that knowing what they know, they continue to do what they do. That's counterintelligence. You see? You always... Knowing what they know, they continue to do what they do. That is counterintelligence in principle. Now, whether the government, you understand, is directly connected with this and that situation, no, 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 no. You understand, we're saying, who does this serve? Does this serve our interests as a race? You understand, as a race? So we are racist. 
You know what I'm saying? We can express racism, but how we express our power as black people is in a different, is in a ver- very different way, just like how we do everything else as black people. If you, if, if you notice that, if you're able to see that, if you're awake and aware to that particular um, reality, and I, 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 think, I think you are. Now, um, and I hope you are. Now, our last point, well, you, you made another point. Did we, did we already address that right there where you said, yeah, you said make another video entitled Misogyny, COINTELPRO um, versus uh, the rise of the black woman and her seat. Are you trying to be counter on this point? It's like you, you're going to counter the intelligence. COINTELPRO was to stop the rise of the black messiah, to stop the rise of the black male. Now, see, this is, this is, this is why people don't have power. This is why people don't have ability, you understand, and, can, and can't build up capacity because they're not accepting the truth as it is. It is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't. And, 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 and it's not going to be what you make believe. You understand? Know it is what it is. So we're dealing with the reality of what has happened. You see, the reality of COINTEL PRO, you understand, know was to stop the rise of the black messiah, the black male. And it was successful. And it has adversely affected or disaffected the black woman and the black child and the entire black family. And by extension, by extension, we can say even, even humanity, by extension, humanity, all right? So that's another point there that we, 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 we must have glossed over. We didn't really see that because what you're doing is flipping it in verse. You, you're trying to invert it, you understand? And, and we say, well, yeah, we love the title. It, we, it's, an interesting, it's an interesting title as, 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 as well from a, that's what we say, that's exact prophecy, exactly prophecy. On that particular level, but what happened, COINTEL Pro, was to stop the rise of the black male. But now, when we get into the prophetic, you understand, the COINTEL Pro serpent has been trying to stop the rise of the black woman, who is the metaphorical Mariam. We have that in Revelations too. In Revelations, the the, the whole subject matter is that black woman who is about to be the man child that in prophecy is Lich Tefari or Lich Tefari or Rastafari, if you know your true story, if you know your birthright as Ethiopian Hebrews, if you know your, if you know your, um, your race as Hebrews, you understand, and your nationality as Ethiopian, the prophecy as, as Beta Israel, then you'll recognize that connection to real time and to real history, and it, it becomes very clear. Then we can really do the work that we have to do, as they say, of nation building. The last point on this that we had common because there's some other comments but we'll take that in, 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 in a different you know in a different presentation is this comment that we responded to um sept sept to twenty six right we said that modern feminism modern feminism please understand modern feminism is COINTEL pro it is a counter intelligence a counter intelligence movement you see, because many black females began to, to adopt or to adapt the animus, if you want to go on a more intellectual level, the animus that some white woman had with their white men folk. You understand? The black woman now looking at her image false. And that's the Afro. Remember the Afro then? Because she was just coming out of the black liberation. As time will go on, it will get straighter and straighter, and you will see the black woman today. You understand? Majority, not all black women. Please, sisters, I'm not talking about all black women. I'm talking about you will see the popular image, the popular image, especially in media, basically is a whitewash. You understand? Of it's a caricature. It's like it's, it's like white face, just like black white people been in black face. Now you see that this this beautiful black woman here, Hughes, with a big afro, come and, and the strong fist. Look how her fist, her arm is is so strong. And look at, I mean, look at this. This is, notice how she's in the background too. All of this is all of this is is, is is programming. All of this is is art on a certain level, and art needs to be interpreted. You see, true art is interpreted, and, and, and there's, you know, but in order to interpret art, you have to have the data, you understand? And you, you have to have knowledge, and the knowledge builds up the intellect. But remember, 
co-intelpro means counter intelligence which means to counter what you already know is true and to make you believe so now you know the majority of black women you understand especially in the media you understand basically looking this particular image or has have adopted another image right another particular image of the white woman living in the image of the white woman you understand why you have some white woman trying to live in the image of the black woman as a caricature and some of them legitimately you know some legitimately to restore their own true femininity but others living in the image of the black woman with her tanning stuff and with you know looking like a burnt piece of chicken or something like that like that woman out in that you know that case and everything like that i'm sure you're familiar with that but let's get back to um our comment right here so um my, Modern feminism is COINTELPRO because it was a rebellion of the white woman against her white father and brother. Yet later, it was flip-flopped against the black male using certain black females who left the black liberation for the white liberation. And we give you, you know, we give you a sample of it here. You understand um, a sample of it here as 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 an exhibit, you know. So that'd be exhibit A, in other words, in this particular argument. In my knowledge, Black Jesus or the true Yeshua, you understand Yeshua HaMoshiach, was a feminist, and so am I. But not after Gloria Steinem, blah blah blah. You understand? Blah, blah, blah. Notice you can't see her bra. You know, look how her hair covers up right here. You know, you have to really interpret, you know, interpret art right here. You understand? If, if, if this was really legitimate, you, you know, if the white woman has kept her, you know, kept that basically look, you know, so forth and so on. But the, the black woman has not kept overall. You understand? It's a few, the call, the chosen that still, uh, you know, are looking at their own reflection of their own selves and have not accepted the image of the beast or the beast's mate, in other words, right? So blah, 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 Gloria Steinem. So the true Yeshua HaMoshi, this is why we pointed out the book, Lydia's Impatient Sisters, you understand, um, in the part two of this particular video. So here we sum up, destroy white patriarchy. You understand the so-called white pay is a false white father, you know, like Michael Moore wrote a book, Stupid White Males or Stupid White Men or something like that. A lot of other white men have said it's really stupid what the white man has been doing. You know, you're, you're over the, a lot, uh, Europeans, some of them recognize this is so. When we say destroy white patriarchy, we're talking about white supremacy and all black males as well who bow to it as well. You understand all the black males, all of them that work, go after bail. All that go after Balaam and Baal, destroy them. You understand? Destroy them who are in that false, that counterfeit, counterfeit, counter, we could say anti. So when we say co intel pro, we could say anti intel, anti intelligence, that are against intelligence. This is why when you talk about misogyny, you understand? When you talk about this misogyny issue and the rap music and the R&B and the so called world in general, all that is a byproduct of this very issue which in a sense you already know um, on an unconscious level, but just need to express that more consciously. You, you recognize this even by this particular point up here. You understand unless you were just being contrary, but no, this particular point about the rise of the black woman, you understand, and her seed, but what is her seed? We explain this right here, the metaphorical Mariam, you understand the black the black Madonna. When we say Madonna, who do you think?